But what's going on guys? I hope y'all are having a fantastic day today because we are about to witness something truly big brained here that honestly I'm just very excited to take a look at here because you know what? It is not every day we get to witness something truly big brained to this extent. Okay, you know, I throw around the word big brained pretty sarcastically sometimes, but I think what we're about to witness here is the fabled 300 IQ individual. You know, some true galaxy brained activity taking place here. Now this is coming from a pretty damn big YouTuber by the name of The Quartering, who you've probably heard of at this point. Like, I would basically sum up his content as being, like, the TMZ of the comic book community. Like, this guy covers a bunch of comic book topics, comic book movies, sometimes some video games, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't really like his content. I think most of the quote-unquote controversies this dude brings up can basically be summed up by, you know, that little family guy quote. Oh my god, who the hell Cash. But anyway, we're not here to talk about his content here today because this man took to Twitter and delivered us probably one of the hottest takes of this new decade. So I figured we would revive the old Twitter Tard series just for today because, you know, ever since I got banned off of Twitter, it's been kind of hard to make this series. But, you know, this this is one of those moments that I really wish I did still have a Twitter account because I would have loved to have been there when this was going down in real time. Because this is one of those rare occurrences where I genuinely start to question how the hell could you think that this was a good idea? Like, no matter what side of the aisle you're on in politics or whatever, I think we could all agree that, you know, that Adolf Hitler dude, kind of a piece of shit. But anyway, you know, this is the tweet we're taking a look at here today. It's basically quartering, quoting a tweet saying, fuck Hitler, and saying, and there we have it. Yikes. Which, I mean, Jesus Christ. But yeah, in order to give you the full context of this situation, which, I mean, only makes this entire thing worse. So, you know, I figured we need to go back and find out where this all started. So so basically, there was someone by the name of Michael Giacchino. He put out a tweet saying, yes, folks, that's my music in the video Matt just sent out. Enjoy. And someone replied to this tweet saying, not impressed. Once again, Batman is not mediocre superhero. He requires epicness. Hopefully you will be provide that. Your lackluster score for Doctor Strange doesn't boast any confidence. Well, your lackluster English doesn't boast any confidence for me either. But anyway, I don't even know why the fuck I'm defending this dude because I know nothing about him. But anyway, this Michael Giacchino guy replied and said, incredibly. I'm unconcerned with how you feel on the subject, which, you know, that's a pretty good comeback in all honesty. But you know what? Apparently the quartering saw this and decided to quote the tweet and said, composer for the new Batman movie, already getting into it with fans. Not a good sign. Now, like I said, I'm not really sure why I'm even defending this dude, but that reply was more than justified. The way this guy tried to call out this composer for the Batman movie or whatever his job is, I'm not really entirely sure. But anyway, yeah, that dude would have been fully in his right to say, yeah, fuck you. You don't know shit about music. Music, kindly leave my timeline. I don't really care what you think. But anyway, yeah, he was a lot more restrained. He actually had a pretty polite reply considering, you know, that this dude was literally trying to call him out, calling him mediocre and stuff. So, you know, I don't really see a problem with that reply whatsoever. I think he handled it pretty well. But according to the quartering, this is a bad sign for the new Batman movie, which I, again, know nothing about. But anyway, now, you know, apparently this was not enough for the quartering. You know, he needed to do a little bit more research just to prove how quote unquote woke this guy was. So I guess he went through his Twitter account and found a random out of context quote of this dude saying fuck Hitler Which I mean, I think we can all agree on you know Hitler like I said before really big piece of shit I don't really see a problem with people saying fuck Hitler You know, we kind of went to war with fucking Germany for that exact reason But anyway, that's beside the point So he finds this quote of this guy saying fuck Hitler and quartering quotes the tweet and says and there we have it Yikes now, he got absolutely ratioed on this tweet, but in order to understand why this is even worse, we need to go and look at the context of why this guy said this in the first place. So this Michael Giacchino guy tweeted out saying, Great news. See King Kong in theaters for the first time in nearly 65 years. Max Steiner essentially created the template for film scoring with this masterpiece. Now, you know, there's nothing wrong with this tweet whatsoever. It's just a guy excited that one of his favorite movies is coming back into theaters after nearly 70 years, dude. That's pretty cool in all honesty. Like, we all have movies we like. I've seen King Kong a couple times. It's a pretty funny movie to watch these days because of the shitty special effects. But anyway, that's beside the point. There was nothing wrong with this tweet whatsoever. And it really sets the context for this entire thing. So someone replied to that tweet saying, Hitler's favorite movie, which I don't know if that's true or not. But anyway, Michael Giacchino, like a normal person probably would, replied to this saying, fuck Hitler, dude, which I don't really know how that's a controversial statement whatsoever. Now, just something funny here that I saw. Someone actually <laughs> replied to him saying, I'd rather not, which, you know, that's a good one. Like, at the quartering, it just quoted the tweet. It said that, you know, we wouldn't even be talking about this, but apparently, you know, saying fuck Hitler 
hilarious, some political statement. But anyway, I just thought that was funny. But in the context of this, I can kind of see where the Michael Giacchino guy was coming from. You know, have you ever been in one of those situations where you're like talking about something that you enjoy doing and someone comes out of nowhere and goes like, oh yeah, you like that? Well, you know who else likes that? A bunch of furries or something cringe like that, okay? Your first response would be to be like, fuck furries, dude. I don't give a shit about them. Okay, that's exactly what I think happened here. Like, I think this Michael Giacchino guy probably mistakenly thought this dude was kind of comparing him and Hitler saying like, oh, you guys like the same shit. So you're basically the same thing, which happens all the fucking time on Twitter in his defense. So I can understand where he's coming from with that. And at the same time, it wasn't even like a directed attack of the dude who said that either. He was just pointing out like, yeah, fuck Hitler. Dude's a piece of shit. Anyway, yeah. Non-controversial whatsoever. And with this context, it makes the quarterings tweet look even worse. So then he finds this tweet, which was like from two days before. Okay, so he went through his account, scrolled through all the replies and everything like that and quoted it. It said, and there we have it. Yikes. And he got absolutely ratioed on this tweet. Like, like 500 replies, 200 likes. And most of the replies have more likes than his original tweet. Now, the top reply here says, Well, he isn't wrong about Hitler. But in what context did he say that exactly? Quartering completely ignored that and used this as some sort of gotcha moment. Then on top of that, someone replied. It said, The quartering, what's the issue? Now, this tweet has more likes over double the amount of quartering's original tweet. And yeah, I really don't see an issue with someone saying that, dude. You know, he's kind of a piece of shit, bro. Like, just saying this isn't really some gotcha moment by saying this that someone else replied saying no in the context of the thread it's a perfectly reasonable statement 650 likes versus 230 and then someone says not liking hitler is a yikes now almost 600 likes okay fascist which i mean i think that's a little bit too far i think it's too far to say you know that the quartering is a neo-nazi okay I, I think that's a little bit of a reach but at the same time the fact that he thinks saying fuck hitler is some sort of political statement or some sort of gotcha moment moment. I think that does say a lot about how desperate he is to claim people are quote unquote woke for content. But anyway, yeah, a lot of people just replying here. I'll try to find some more interesting ones here. But yeah, that's basically what sums it up. Again, somebody here with 1500 likes, well over what? Six times the likes that Quartering got on his tweet said when you're triggered because someone said Hitler is bad. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> Which I mean, that, that just perfectly sums it up. So, you know, it didn't end there because, you know, the Quartering, he always has to double down. He can't just let himself take the L. You know, he's one of those YouTube intellectuals that always has to be right and is always going to win the argument through persistence or whatever. But anyway, he put out another tweet, this time quoting a screenshot that someone took of his tweet saying, and there we have it, yikes. So basically he goes, the context is that it's another comics pro with stunning and brave taste. Like, fuck Hitler, dude. No, dude. The context is that this man was excited for King Kong. You know, gorilla on the Empire State Building, swatting at planes, holding a woman. You know, that's what he was talking about. And then someone drew a comparison between Hitler and this movie, and the guy just said, yeah, fuck Hitler, dude, I don't give a shit about him. But anyway... <laughs> You know, apparently the context here is that it's another quote-unquote comics pro, which is just so cringe to even say, dude, who has stunning and brave takes. Like, Jesus Christ, man. No, this dude was literally talking about King Kong and someone drew a comparison he didn't like. And at the same time, I don't even think this dude is what you would call a comics pro. He's an actual composer. Like, this guy is actually in the music industry, not the comics industry. But then again, it shows you how much research quartering does. But let's keep going here. But you're not interested in that. And that's why you didn't at me. You just want to try and smear me as a Nazi. I mean, well, dude, it is kind of hard to look at it another way. Like, personally, I'm not going to go that far. I think it's kind of ridiculous to take it to that extreme. But at the same time, the only person who would have a problem legitimately with a statement like that is someone who supports the man, okay? And then you would fall into that category. So, you know, I really don't think it's not an unfair claim to make, especially if they're not familiar with you or they don't watch your videos, dude. So, you you know, at the same time, I think you're kind of your own worst enemy in this situation. You're the one who set yourself up for this perception. Fucking clowns every time. Now, I will say the reason why this guy probably didn't add him is because he wanted to screenshot the tweet so it would be preserved in case the quartering eventually deleted the tweet, which he has done in the past with some of his hotter takes. So, you know, at the same time, I don't really see a problem with not adding him. Like, everybody was passing this tweet around at this point. But anyway, man, this entire situation I just found completely hilarious. 
hilarious. Now, in this tweet, his supporters came out to help him out more, I guess. I don't know, but it was really hard to defend that initial tweet, dude. Like, that was a really bad take. And, well, let's just say 2020, man. I've said it before. It's off to a fantastic start here. We're getting more and more big-brained activity. We could be looking at the decade of the big brain here, okay? We may have a lot more content to cover in the future, and it's moments like this that really make me miss having Twitter, dude. Like, for the most part, I really don't miss it at all. Like, it just ate up a bunch of my time, but when I miss out on stuff like this in the moment, I really wish I was there to just get my word in, because this would have been really fun to talk about at the time. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And well, guys, I wanna thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to check out the video as always, and for all the recent support as well. I'm starting to feel better. My sickness is subsiding, so hopefully I'll get back to making some more YouTube videos here as more and more topics pick up. But anyway, guys, with that said, I will catch you guys next time.